everyone it's me just deep and i'm back again with another video this time on how to buy a used car in canada this video is especially helpful for newcomers who have other priorities when they come to canada Raja, beta, aakhir canada and they generally go for used cars through this video we'll get to know what's the step-by-step -step process of buying a car how you can get the best bang for your buck and how you can eliminate all the risk of buying a used car so let's get started so to explain the process, I will be taking an example of my friend whom I recently assisted in buying his dream CRV, and I hope this process also helps you find your dream car. The first thing that we do is identify the car, and for that, I mean we need to find out exactly the brand, the model, and the trim level. Now, how do we do that? How the hell I know? Huh? The very first thing, why do you need the car? In my friend's case, the need was to buy it as a daily commuter for groceries, for his work, and to drop off his kids. So he needed a car which had like five seats, which had enough of cargo, cargo capacity, and which one also saves on fuel. Now comes the question of where to buy it from and how much to buy it for. Here, we have to do a lot of research and analysis, and I always prefer doing that at your home, near your desk, online rather than going out to a dealer. If you straight away head to a dealer, there are many trained salesmen there who will sell you something which you might regret in the future. Hence here, I would suggest you to please do a homework at your home and I will be taking you through a process that we followed when we bought a car recently with my friend. So there's a site called autotrader.ca. They also have an app. This is a free site, free app, and it, most of the dealers and a lot of private sellers also post their inventory here. They also upload reports like the Carfax report if it is there. And through this app, you can get a comprehensive idea that within a certain geography, how much is the car selling for and what you can expect from the car. So let's take the example of the Honda CRV here. On this side, the first thing we should do is we should go at advanced search. Start by putting the location. My friend's location was this and I'll keep within 50 kilometers because in case you have to go back again, you cannot go to a dealer too far or like a seller too far. So let's keep it to 50. The condition we should avoid new, we'll just keep used and certified pre-owned. Certified pre-owned are cars which are sold by authorized dealers, like for example, Honda dealers. They follow the safety and the other inspections as per the company's norm of what a certified pre-owned should be. And these are slightly expensive, but very good cars. Seller type, we'll keep all the three checked. Make, we'll take Honda. Model, we'll take CRV. Trim option will take EX because we are sure which one we have to buy. My friend wanted to buy a car 2019 or letter, so I will keep 2019 here. And then mileage. This is another important factor. I will always keep it below 50,000 and recommend it is always below 30,000. So let's put 30,000 here. Now we have these three cars here. Earlier we had much more when we was we were doing the purchase. Now there is a supply shortage of the chips for the car that is why the whole inventory is lower at this point of time but let's suppose we have these these three cars here so we're seeing that a 2019 honda crv ef should be around 34 000 odd and let's take this car for example so when we click on this car we see like it's listed in toronto and whoever it's being sold by midtown honda that's a dealer that's a very good dealer so it's a dealer car if you come down you'll see that it's at a fair price not a good or a great price again it's because of the supply shortage of the chips the cars are a bit expensive now then there's another important thing which is called view carfax history this is a very important thing that you should always check now what do we look for in this let's go and see so when i click on it so we'll start by seeing if there are any accident or damages the accident or damages could be mild they could be moderate or they could be excessive now even if they are mild they can have a lot of impact on the car's resale value so it depends on you whether you are like able to take on that or not my friend was not at all ready for this then we started the price haggling the room for haggling is around five percent to fifteen percent we were lucky we got ten percent and the price came down from twenty nine thousand to twenty six thousand five hundred obviously we did the test drive we did a manual inspection and we saw that the car is in good condition Two important tips for you whenever you decide to buy a car always go towards the end of the month the reason being that towards the end of the month they have to achieve their sales targets and you get a pretty good discount 
another tip in case if you think that the car won't be bought soon enough try to wait as much as you can because with every passing month the dealer drops the price of the car they want to move out the cars as soon as possible so when the month passes out they drop the price of the car so through this thing you can also keep track of your car and you can get a pretty good discount now this is a simple method wherein you can avoid all the risk and get a very good car for yourself like my friend got we have been running it just almost 6000 kilometers on it and it's great so hope this helped you if you like the video please subscribe it if you have any question please post it down in the comments and i'll be happy to answer bye for now